it shit. makes no sense. But no, there's like 80% of the fat community that's like, you're attacking me, you're fat shaming me. Like, bro, like we woke up, went to sleep. Like, and it's not even like, I mean, for some people it's a choice, but I mean, for some people they can't change it. But like being fat is really a choice. Like we can mm. we all get in the gym for real. Like we all go lose 150 pounds. We all go get a elastic sleeve and lose 100 pounds in the next year or get some surgery. Like if we fat, it's probably because you want to be fat and you ain't doing nothing to change it. So if you that up about somebody calling you fat, like then just change it. Let it go. Mm. It's nothing to talk about. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you're suffering from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. Do it. Yo, be in love. Yeah, be showing it like. Sweetheart. My man, my man. You probably posting a little. Yeah, I do. Every time I see something cute, I repost it. Damn. Seven months. Oh, that's cool, man. Yo, what's popping, man? You know what time it is. Boy, Mr. J Hill was in the building. J Hill Podcast. Another special episode. I'm going to just keep dropping special episodes. These be my favorite episodes. I'm going to tell you why. First of all, shout out to everybody that's listening right now. Shout out to everybody that's watching. Make sure you go to the audio. Make sure you check out the audio. Check out the audio. Check out the audio. Check out the audio. Listen, man, we're going to be promoting that shit until it's dead. You know what I'm saying? This is a podcast, so support us. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that YouTube. You feel me? But listen, this is a special episode because the young lady I got, y'all know I'm terrible with doing um introductions and shit. Shout out to B. Simone. She definitely called me out on that, but it is what it is. This young lady that I got coming on, right? Dope as fuck. And a lot of niggas always be like, she hard for a female rapper. No. She's probably like up there. Any rapper. Like, for real. No cap. You feel me? She's probably nicer than your favorite rapper, man or female. Just, just, it is what it is. Ching Dom is, is in the building. What's up with it, What's popping, dog? Ah, What's up? What's good? Thank you. I like that outside. introduction. Okay. You outside? You came always hottest. from Nebraska for me? For sure. You for, sure. for you. you be Only it, for bro. you. Like, seriously. I have nothing else to do. You ain't got a lot of me. I mean, there's a good eating spot here called Pirates Boil, but you and Pirates Boil, yes. Pirates Boil? Yeah, that's right. You would I... come from Nebraska to eat Pirates yeah, Boil. Yeah, I have there. before. What time like, it goes? Yeah, uh, 8 p.m. <laughs> 8 p.m. And you came late, so I can't even yeah, go. That's yeah, crazy. it's over now. Yeah, maybe Can tomorrow. We... Tomorrow? No, I'm going at 9 a.m. Yeah, my flight leaves. Yeah, it's over. I'm going tomorrow. Mm. Fuck it. It's Let called, me know what it's like. Text me that. Yeah, yeah, for real. Shizzle. I'm definitely I got going. You. I fuck with seafood. Yo, I um, see, I'm from Maryland. We got the best seafood. I come down here and be like mid. Maryland is on the uh, East Coast. I don't know. Okay. You be asking questions. <laughs> you talk about what's the nigga name? What? Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, she, all right, I'm gonna have to check out Maryland because I'm like seafood is my shit. So I'm no, okay. seafood is way better than all of this shit. Yeah, I'm gonna be there. To be honest, I'm gonna go all in Maryland. Yo, speaking of, see, I'm from Baltimore though. It's you know, be more. Nah, That's man, where Jess yeah. Hilarious is from, huh? Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, see y'all cousins. Could, that's my dog for sure. Okay. She ain't my cousin. I wouldn't say that. Right. She's okay. my dog for sure. Right. But um, speaking of our hometown, how was Nebraska, bro? I probably I know you probably heard that hundred that question a thousand times. Yeah, I actually, it's crazy because, like, some people always say, like, oh, it's just like everywhere else. It's crazy. It's the complete opposite. It's not like, it's not like anywhere else. I, like, didn't been in, like, probably, like, 10, 15 states, and Nebraska is unique. Like, the weather is very unique. Like, we get all four seasons, but, like, to the highest severity. Like, winter is, like, always below zero. Mm. Summer is, like, 115. Fall is, like, rainy as hell. Like, it's just, like, everything to the 10th like, power. <laughs> like No exactly. roaches. I noticed everywhere got roaches, rats, rodents. We don't have those. I'm pretty sure I got roaches somewhere. We don't have in them. Nebraska, bro. We have a shortage on roaches. Like, you guys have them all. So, yeah. Nah, Baltimore definitely got a lot of roaches. Yeah, and so does Atlanta. So, I think y'all took it. I ain't seen no I, I ain't seen no roaches in Atlanta yet. Are you serious? For real. I, I did them. a tour in an apartment over in Buckhead. And during the tour, there was roaches. Like, in an empty apartment. It was dead ones, alive ones. <laughs> that's like, crazy. Like, I've never <laughs> seen that in my life. Like, that's how I know y'all got roaches here. There's no For way sure. they're doing a tour. Yes, tour. And roaches are still living during the tour. 
No. Some of them are dead. That's what I'm saying. No, no, no. That's the worst part. So uh, if it's a live, it's like, damn, shit. You feel me? He just got in But here. if it's a dead one, that's different. It's like you killed him and you knew he was here and you didn't get him. That's is that what you're thinking? Trifling, bro. Yeah, it's just yeah, like you I'm ain't even, too. you know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. Yeah, and then I said, dang, is that a, a dead roach? She said, oh, they come from outside. And they just dying Oh, and you think I'm a just Like, oh, yeah, I'm ahead. good, actually. You crazy. No, that thank is. you. Yeah, I ain't seen no roaches. I ain't seen that's no roaches I'm... or no mice yet. Like now, yeah, keep knocking. Um, I don't know about <laughs> mice. I can't say that, but I heard Baltimore be having the mice. Yeah, though. we got all that shit. Yeah, see, for sure. We got see, all Nebraska that. don't got nothing. Even the mosquitoes, like you might get bit once. You know, if you get bit twice, it's like, damn, you having a bad summer. You know, here forty mosquito bites. Oh, not for sure. That's so. Yeah, it's like it's, it, even the people is different. Like, I think Nebraska got three percent of black people. No cap, three percent. Like we and all live like in Omaha. Shit? I feel like we just, the black people all stay in one area, so oh, we don't okay. never see the white people. But when you hear the numbers, like, damn, it's only 3% of us here. Like, Okay. You know what it reminds me of? I don't, you went to uh, college? Yeah, a little bit. It reminds me of, because I went to a PWI, predominantly white school, before. I went to HBCU, but before I went to HBCU, I went to all white school. Mm -hmm. And, like, usually at those schools, like, the culture is, like, all the black kids are hanging with the black kids. So we not even, we not even paying Don't no even notice how many white people are around. Exactly, that's exactly, exactly how it is in Nebraska. So I feel like that's different because... Atlanta, it's black people. Yeah, good lord. Like, I got a rental car, and there was five employees. All of them was black. You will never see that in Nebraska. You won't even see one black employee working at a rental car place. Like, it is all white people that got the the jobs. Like, I know that sounds weird. And but I feel like you was probably like. <laughs> I was like, should I give them my car? Like, no <laughs> lame shit. shit. Like, it's just like, you know, like, I was brought up only seeing Give my car so it's like seeing all them black people i'm like damn is this is it racist there where uh they said it is like when when you go out more like because nebraska is big but we live in omaha like right on the back end so they did say like if you go farther in nebraska this is just hearsay because i don't think any of us ever drove over there but uh you Niggas know over there <laughs> yeah, over there but you know i went to um york penitentiary and that's two hours out of omaha into Nebraska, so oh shit. When I went to a um a hospital there, I had a hospital visit. I felt like the energy. I can't say they was being racist, but I can say the energy was off. Like I don't want to put that jacket on them, but the energy okay. was off. Yo, but do so. It's crazy because I wanted to talk to you about this. Do you feel like niggas be niggas energy be off when you walk in the room, just in general? Because let's think about it. You're a black woman, mm -hmm. heavy set, right? Mm -hmm. You uh. You strong in your personality, mm -hmm. right? You you own who you are, mm -hmm. and I feel like, let's be real. I feel like niggas be acting some type of way when when one of those five is in the building. You know what? So, as of right now, with when I became Ching, I could say I don't experience that anymore. Mm. So like, when I wasn't before, like I had any credibility or anything, I feel like I. I feel like even my own family was trying to play me like type shit. Like when I was like, hey, I want to rap or whatever. And I had brothers and, you know, cousins that rapped and shit. They was like kind of pushing me off. And I knew it was because I was fat, dark. I don't know what it was. Mm. But then I started getting lit. I started going viral. You know what I'm saying? My social media started going. I get a blue check. And everybody now every room I walk in, everybody's, geek, you know, like. Okay. So it's like ever since then, I can't say I experienced it one time. But it's, it's wild because I am glad I got to experience it before shit really kicked off. So, so let me ask you this then. Be real with me. Do you think you were more self conscious back then before you started getting into your music back? And you no, were just I would say for now. It? For real, I would say now. Like, I don't even feel like I was a creep like that, or maybe I was a creep and motherfuckers just didn't know because I didn't have to talk to people. But now that I'm so exposed, like, yeah, that's that. I that's you a game would walk changer. Into it, like even mm. like you would own it, like kind of like Lizzo, like own nope. it even more. No, I feel like it's kind of like a middle level. It's kind of like. I owned it, and then now I'm nervous, and then, like, when I get bigger, I'll be able to own it more because, like, I'm right in that rocky road where, you know, I didn't get – I'm not there yet, but I'm not too far off. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I do have to still prove myself, but it's – I'm in a weird position right now. No, nah, no cap. I feel like even me, I talk about this all the time. I feel like even me, I, I feel like that's a rocky place because outside of what niggas is judging you for, it's just rocky within ourselves because it's like it's like you one freestyle away, one song away, you one literally. video away. But it, then it give you anxiety because it's like you chasing it almost sometimes, right? And it's like, fuck. I feel like all the time it's a chase. It's like, no, like, <laughs> yeah, on God, like always. It's like the little cat game. Like he had a little Literally, thing, and, and it's like you so close and then. Bro. This is some wild shit. Nah, for real. I think I, I was able to um slow down 
just doing the interviews and, and just recognizing where I'm at. For example, mm-hmm. if I was in your shoes, like you probably dream or you probably ain't even had a dream, but to have a song a placement on a, I think you had a, a placement on a um, TV show. Rap shit, yeah. Ra- rap shit, right? Mm-hmm. To see that is like, damn. I think uh, Sada Baby had even DMs you. Yeah. You feel me? Like shit like that. If I was you, that that helped me slow down and be like, you know what? I'm I'm on the right path I'm supposed to be on. You know what? And it's hard to really, I feel like Drake said it in a song, don't even quote me, but I feel like he was saying like, it's hard to congratulate yourself because mm. it's, it's like you, 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 like you said, you chasing something. Like back then I feel like I wanted this. Like I would have wanted this so bad. And then now that it's here, it's like, I, I can't even feel it. It's not even I'm being unappreciative. It's like I'm really numb and I can't feel it. Like I don't know if it's because I want more or I want something bigger. But but right there, that's why. Now you're right. So I used to feel like that. But again, you said just un, me understanding that, right, me, and, be, me being able to recognize where I'm at, like you said, you back then would have wanted this. Like mm-hmm. think about it. Like you got niggas inside of baby year, you got fucking people who, you got songs on TV shows and shit like that. Mm-hmm. For me, when I, I had to sit back and realize, yo, a year from now, I would have loved to have an interview with this type of person. Nah, I can appreciate it and I can slow down. It's hard, you know what I'm saying? But that's that that helped me calm my anxiety. I feel like I could say it, but like genuinely. Nah, I, facts. I you know it. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can say it like, hey, I'm proud of myself. And then it's like, like I real life they had DMs with Snoop Dogg. Like, you tripping now. I didn't got voice audios from Cardi B like talking to me like it's like and I can't even like so what I was feel say it is like maybe if you say it more you will start to believe it so I think mm-hmm. words are powerful right so like you right you like you're 100 percent right like I can say it but genuinely because <laughs> right. like it's still a piece of me in there like you feel me but <laughs> yeah I do repeat it to myself so I, I'm at least able to acknowledge it and be like mm-hmm. I can calm down a little bit you right feel me? like I still chase the numbers and chase the shit but right it's like, for sure bro. I had this last week. Mm-hmm. It's possible. Mm-hmm. It's here. It's going to come. Mm-hmm. But you know what? I think I be trying not to be people that I see. Like I see somebody being lame as fuck, and I'll like, like, don't do that shit. Facts. So you, you know, you ever meet somebody that just start name dropping out of nowhere? Like I was working with, or I just talked to, and it's irritating as fuck. Like, bro, I don't want to hear. <laughs> Ain't it lame as fuck? Like All that shit time. lame as. So I never want to be that person. Like, drop, drop, drop. You know, but I want to still. You know what I'm saying? Let motherfuckers know what it. But at the same time, I don't want to be that guy. So I feel like I, I gotta hold in my. Uh, you feel? No. My, when I say I love yo, I love this conversation because I be trying to have this conversation so many times. But so people be so like. Niggas be so lit that they can't speak on how they feel, oh, and yeah. I hate that shit, bro. Like I be this conversation make me genuinely happy because like you a human, for sure. you know what I'm saying? Like and like for especially sure. when you real. I tell I be joking with Kevin all the time. Mm-hmm. Like, bro, I'm I'm in the industry, so I guess I can't I can't really be honest. I can't be myself because niggas in the industry don't do that. I'm like, I don't give a fuck about these. That's like, really, really like, they like, want you to be like that, but you. I don't give a. Fuck it's my about thing, that. like. 50 Cent, he's able to say what he want to say because he stamped that shit early on. I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. Y'all can't cancel me. Like, only motherfuckers that get canceled are... Niggas, that's faking. That's faking because because a real motherfucker don't... You can't cancel Boosie. You can't cancel 50 Cent. It's no These way. motherfuckers is not going to let... <laughs> you you feel me? That's what they is from the jump. Straight up. You just got to keep it 100, like, straight nah, up. Facts. Unless... It's either... So, it's crazy because speaking of Nebraska, I feel like... I always say, like, anything we talk about can be related back to life, right? So, it's funny how you say Nebraska is, like, is dramatic, right? Mm-hmm. It's either all the way this or mm-hmm. all the way that. Remind me of myself. I'm a Gemini, so I'm... Nigga said, <laughs> but anyway, I say that and say, like, it's, it's the same with the industry, right? Think about it. If you ain't, like, Beyonce, where it's, like, all the way to, like, really reserved, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, superstar status, right. or you ain't boosy where you all the way just crazy and don't give mm-hmm. a fuck, the people in the middle, they be the ones that really have a lot of problems, you mm-hmm. get what I'm saying, think about it, like, mm-hmm. so I get it, bro, I, man, I, man. See, I want to fall in the 50 cent boosy category, like, I want to be able to say how I feel at all times, mean what I say at all times, like, because like I you said, it. we human, I, I'm not trying to turn into no robot. I'm for not sure. trying to, yeah, I'm trying to get paid, but I'm trying to. Be I me. think that's dope. I, for me, I ain't gonna lie to you. I am a little conflicted. I'd be lying if I was. Because sometimes mm-hmm. I'd be wanting to go out there, but I'd be like, man, I don't wanna burn over. I ain't gonna, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. <laughs> sometimes I'd be wanting, fuck these niggas, start mm-hmm. naming niggas and all that. <laughs> I'm like, I don't wanna burn the bridges. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna say the names right. when I get to a level where yeah, I think yeah, I can. Yeah, 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 and then that right just take now. time because I feel like the same way too. See, that's <laughs> right. just being smart. Yeah, yeah, because right, right, I'm gonna do it too for sure. Right, like, I'm holding off for nigga, a second. I got, nigga, I got, nigga, I got phone. y'all in my back pocket. <laughs> I swear to God, but no, that's just being smart. But you still keeping it hundred, being real. All right, bet. Yo, so you you was booked for what a year? They gave me two to three, so you got to do the bottom of the two, which is a year. But okay. because I had did like. A couple months before I bonded out, um, I only had to do a solid nine months mm. when they actually like gave me my sentence. You was booked for stealing or yes. So, yo, what what may I'm thinking <laughs> you in Nebraska, right? Right. You must have just been like, man, I'm just going rogue on all these niggas. There's too many white people in here. Like nah. they're gonna give me my acres in the morning. <laughs> Hey, that was my excuse for motherfuckers trying to make me feel bad. Like, okay. they owe us this shit. You know, I used to try to throw that, but I'm always, I was on bullshit. But nah, like, the shit was really wild because I had a poor friend. Like, I grew up with, you know, not like Silver Spoon, but like, my mom, like, always made that shit happen, like, no matter what. So, yo, this episode is sponsored by The Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy, David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi million dollar businesses, right? He created the morning meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now, listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either one, outgrew the people around us or two, we just being lazy and weighing in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me. This is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now, you got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I'll see you there. I had a friend in high school and she like... Didn't really have it, so she really had to go steal her clothes, steal her shoes, mm. and that was my best friend. So it was like, best friend, what you about to go do? She like, I'm about to go steal, you know. So I'm, I'm like, why well, go, dog? Like, what you be getting, you know? So it became something fun for me. Like, obviously, it was a survival technique for her, but I thought that she was fun. I started getting this adrenaline rush. We running from them, we fighting them, and like, I just like, yeah, I can't wait to go again. So then, shit, when we start making paper off that shit, like, it became that real hustle. Like, oh, this mm. is where it's at. Like, I could pay. Get so anything you were like I want. stealing and selling? Well, how yeah, yeah, we were stealing and selling it for half price, yeah. Damn. So, because I know it's a real thing for you, because it's mm -hmm. crazy, because I think for you, they used to call you Biggie. Yes. Right? How do you, damn, yes. <laughs> Shot. They did, yes. <laughs> you hate that shit now. No, like, I love it if it's my family, like. Okay. But the people that don't even know me is, it, like, people in my city, now that I'm, like, I'm famous in my city. I may not be famous worldwide, no, I get but it, like, I in Nebraska, that's changed, like, oh shit. So, when people in my city say Biggie, like, y'all don't know me. Don't do that. Like, you you met me when I became Ching, so you call me Ching. Mm. But you know what I'm saying? So they be, I feel like they be trying to make be disrespectful. Like, they know me. So I can I, relate so much. We're going to go back to the thing. <laughs> I say that because, like, I feel like I hate when niggas give me underhanded com compliments. Right? Like That's exactly what that is. Yeah, like, underhanded like, compliments. Like, like, I feel like you discredited everything Ching then did facts, by like, calling me Biggie because she steals and she goes to the Don't do that. Yeah, don't like, especially that. when nigga, like, for me, like, nigga be like, yo, you came so far. Like, you grew so much. I'm actually the same nigga. I just got into a couple bad, made a couple bad decisions. Like, fuck now you, I'm my just, nigga. Like, God, and it's under, oh my God, like, make you want to smack her. Like, I don't know if I should say thank you or like, bitch, meet me outside and run away. Like, like, nigga, no, what the suck, fuck? This nigga, suck my dick. Like, and I hate that because I'm a zero or a hundred person. Like, I hate when somebody say something to me and I can't detect if I should sock them. So if I can't really decide, I'll let it go. But then I'm at home all night. Like, and I should have smacked shit. that bitch. So like, I hate that shit. Like, I'm like, zero or hundred. Yeah, like, oh, you motherfucker. And it feel like 80% of the people in the world give those, like, middle, underhanded little... That bullshit. Yeah. And niggas get mad at and you. And they know you, they doing it, too. Niggas get mad at you once you call them out on that bullshit. Like, bro, nah. All right, yeah, niggas. now you crazy. Like, oh, now I'm crazy. No, I'm not Stop. taking your, your underhanded compliment, nigga. Yeah, no. you mad at me for... Yeah, oh, God. No, God. I'm not. All right, All right so you... you you get this feeling. I was what I was gonna say. I know it's hard. I know it's something that you're getting over. It's kind of like I feel like people are overlook it, like because we think about alcohol addiction or uh, substance abuse and shit mm. like that, and people celebrate that. But I right. feel like you would celebrate being so far removed away from where you were at. Yeah, and you you like you saying people don't look at it like that. Like they don't understand. I don't smoke. I don't drink. So I don't do anything. Like if anything, I'm addicted to sugar. Yeah, I like snacks, sweets. I am that, but. 
stealing was my thing. Like, mm. I needed to go. Like, I had enough money, enough clothes, you know, too much. And I still needed to go just to go get my itch. Like, just mm. to go get that feeling. So, me stopping, like, ain't nobody saying, hey, Ching, we, we proud of you. Like, ain't nobody patting me on my back for doing that shit. But, like you said, they do that for people that get off drugs, like heavy drugs, liquor, all that shit. But, like, yeah, they overlooking that shit. But I congratulate myself all the time, like, mm. privately type shit. Because, like, that Wait, was a serious when, when did you get to that point? Because I feel like... Before you would get to congratulating yourself, that has to be hard to, for people to not acknowledge your growth. Like, that got to be hard. Yeah, it was uh, when I signed with um Sano. I'm not in a deal with them anymore, but when I signed with Sano, um, I'm like a real caring person. So, like, they were spending so much money on me that I would feel terrible to get caught up in and in, in waste all their money. Like, if I know somebody putting 100000 into me, like, I would be selfish to go risk my life and go to jail and now all your money's wasted. So that's what actually made me stop stealing. Nothing else but that. Mm. Me signing was like, don't waste these people's time. Don't waste these people's money. So I went cold turkey. Like, it was just, like, I don't even steal deodorant no more. Like, body wash or nothing. Like So you don't, it's crazy because you probably don't even, like you said, you, you don't even do it a small amount of you know how niggas go to walmart finesse or some shit like that yeah right because it was so such a, ha a mm -hmm. bad habit for you mm -hmm. yeah cold turkey oh people can't even still around me like people will try to like yeah swipe something hey don't do that around me like they know like don't hey like i don't even play don't steal snickers around me Damn. like that i'm not even condoning it like at all like i don't want to be a part of it like whatsoever damn i know and even that gotta be hard though. for sure right like people and that's what i wanted to talk about because it's, it's just crazy how people overlook niggas growth and like I know that, and I, that's what I wanted to really talk about, the pain mm -hmm. of you stopping cold turkey, right? You've been committed to this, and mm -hmm. you really sticking it out and, and sticking it through, and people not seeing it and congratulating when you felt like when you felt you needed to be congratulated. Mm -hmm. And it's like more shit like on the back end too, like that, like that part, um, you know, like the itches, like not like an actual itch, but yeah, just like the course. urges. Even uh, financially, like, I can't be that. We making 1500 to 2000 a day, like, this easy money. Like, hey, let's run over here real quick. You know what I'm saying? So we can easily run up 30000 you know, just this month alone, just to say we did it. You know what mm. I'm saying? So to go to that, to work in a nine-to-five, like, mm. motherfucker talking about $15 an hour, you getting a check for $800 after two weeks. And then I, the dedication of, like, when you're going like, through something, having to... The determination of going through something and having to be grounded to say, I'm going to get through it. When I could have, it could have been the easy lick for Literally. You. Literally. So I feel like all of them had the same amount of like pain behind them. Like, damn, like, fuck. Like, even when a unexpected expense came up, like, you know you could go get mm. that, right? Like, damn. What about the people around you, though, not congratulating you when you... Like, because I'm pretty sure you be having those times and you need somebody to be like, yo, Ching, like, I'm proud of you. I, like, yo, you really came along or, or you you really doing your thing. Keep it up. You know what? I noticed that I don't congratulate people. So in my mind, I feel like I be trying to, like, give people the benefit of the doubt that they feel that way. They just ain't said it. Mm. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Even though they're not saying it, like, I feel some type of way. But, like, I try to put in my mind, like, they proud of me, like, type shit. Because I feel like I don't be... You know how you got to be that friend to people who you want, how you want, you know what I'm saying? And I don't be doing that shit. And mm. I be catching myself like, damn, why you ain't? And even though that like my heart was pure, you know what I'm saying, in the situation, I just ain't push it out to the universe or tell them. So like in my mind, like anytime I think like, damn, like motherfuckers just acting like that was nothing. I think in my mind again, like to switch my whole thought process. Like, like nigga, you don't even congratulate You know what I'm saying? Type it shit. So I'm like, you know what? Bad. They probably, they just ain't said that shit. Like, I know they happy for me type shit. Do you catch yourself? Congratulating people more when you feel like you need that congratulation. Yes, yes, mm. yes. So what happens in that moment when you when you when you catch yourself doing it intentionally to get it back, but it don't. It, so don't like, I back. feel like I do it like I congratulate him, like not like actually congratulate you, like looking for it back. It feel I feel like it's gonna go full circle type shit. Like I'll try to con and I'll get the energy and then I'll type shit like not like directly, like just like full circle type shit. Damn. So what happens when you don't get that? How do you feel? I mean, that shit ain't about nothing. Like, it's it about ain't. something. It's Talk crazy because, like, I feel like I just, all my feelings are nothing. Like, it's weird. And people say this to me, I swear to God, all the time. Like, damn, you really don't give a fuck about nothing. Like, my little brother wake me up at 3 a.m. Like, hey, take me to the shorty house. I just jump up. Like, come on, let's go. He like, most motherfuckers be like, nigga, I'm asleep. Like, why the fuck would I do that? Like, when I say I don't care about nothing, like, 
people die, I can't feel it. Like mm. something about me, I take a all feelings almost and just go like, what you think and that just came hold from? it. Where that stem from? You think? I don't know. It gotta be like some childhood shit. Like it gotta be like. I, that's the only thing I can say is it gotta be because like I don't even know when it came, what year. I just know one day I woke up and I mean, shit, I was how was your parents? Though? I mean, no, I got a dope ass mom. Yeah, you said that. yeah, like my mom dope as shit, and like my dad, he was a pimp, and you know, so he was in and out. But when he did come in, like he give us money, give us allowances. There was he would always pay our phone bills. Like I can't say he just like was not, you know. So I can't, you know, what I'm saying I feel like a lot of people try to put that off on other people like say you nine out of ten people you talk to they'll try to push it off on like i was raised like this and my mom like i don't never try to push off nothing on nobody like if something is going on with me like i'll be trying to figure out like where did it come from from me like within like so that's why i don't have an answer right now like mm. i don't i feel like somewhere when i was growing up like something happened but no i feel like i wouldn't want to push it off on you know <clears throat> it sounds just like me it's just crazy because I was able to have that. I talk about therapy a lot of times. I ain't trying to like get into our soapbox, but I be talking <laughs> about therapy a lot. And um, I never forget. I talk about this a few times. Is that his laptop? I feel like, is that my phone? That's your bag? I, is it? Is it? I, we ain't get it. Hold on, hold on. Okay. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. Okay. Put your bag on your right, though. And that's my dad. All right. I'm just talking about, see? You know, you know, yeah, right. Um, okay. uh, what I was saying, uh, I feel like when I when I when I went to therapy, I was able to like recognize the shit that hurt me. Not saying it was on nobody, mm -hmm. right? Like I, I used to always say, my mom's was the best mom she could be. You feel me? Like she ain't. I feel like I learned so much shit from my mom. You mm -hmm. feel me? Like I feel like I wouldn't be the person I, I I am today if it wasn't for the mistakes she made. For sure. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't until my therapist asked me like how it made you feel, and I had to think about it. And I'm like. I mean, I do wish my mom's came to my football mm -hmm. games, cause I never was. I never wanted to talk about it, cause I never wanted to seem like I was blaming her. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause like she did the best she could, and yep. I understand it. But now I think back as a grown up, it's like, damn, I, that shit did hurt. So, are you a parent? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. See, that's and that's why another reason why I'm not able to blame. So, like, my mom is like, my parenting is at a like if we're on a scale one to ten, like my parenting is at a five, mm. my mom is at a fifteen. Like mm. you know what I'm saying. So I could never like try to you know everybody got their flaws, but like shit, if I could be half of the parent my mom is, mm. you know what I'm saying. Like I'd be great grateful like than a motherfucker. So that alone, it's like there was shit. Like she wasn't flawless, of course. I could mm. nitpick here, here, and here. You know what I'm saying. But it's like shit, she did a hell of a job because me trying to do her same job, like. I'm That's slacking right now, like on God. So you a parent? Yeah, I got a daughter. She is eight. She'll Damn. be nine in March. Yeah. That's crazy. How is that? One kid. Um, <sighs> and man, it's been a like really a, a easy ass ride. My mm -hmm. mom is like, my daughter name is uh, after my mom. My mom name is White Show. I named my daughter White Show just because I love my mom that much. That's fine. But um, it's been easy. My mom, she acts just like. Duh, Cause my daughter dad went to prison. He's been down for like her whole life type shit. So my mom been there. My grandma, my sister, my brother. Like it's really been. My daughter was the first grandkid, first niece, first like everything for everybody. So it's been a cakewalk. I I can't experience what other people say. Like I can't find no babysitter. I I've never. I've been blessed I enough to really... never experience like nothing like that. Like yeah. I've never had to look for nothing. Yo, how the fuck? Did, like it's just like you went to the pen. You said your, your uh, daughter's dad has been down for yeah. her whole life, eight nine years. Yeah. How the like? This is crazy because like I would assume like somebody that come from Nebraska, one of the richest places, right? And like it's like nah, it's gangsters. Like, yeah, <laughs> no, nah, like they actually call it Omaha and the blast. You like <laughs> the blast? Is like crazy. they really so like Saturday when my brother was shot. Eight other people were shot. Like it's like the shit you be the stories y'all have like in Chicago shit. That shit happens in Nebraska, and you gotta imagine it's like worse because we so small. So, like yeah, yeah. it makes sense. Y'all so big, you know what I'm saying? Eight people got shot, but you gotta think about it. It's only forty people in our party, so eight people getting shot is like yeah, wild as shit. Like facts. they going crazy in there. So like, you get out the pen. You like mm -hmm. man, you had to change your name because you was on the run. Well, you you changed your name before you or after because you was on the run. Both twice. I changed it twice. Okay, because it was chink. It was chink. And then Ching. Yes. Because you was on the run. First one was because I was on the run. The second one because we found out Chink was, was racist. Racist. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember In the that. black community, like, 
just asking y'all, did y'all know that? Nigga, no. Need... Nigga, we had a whole song. Cheeky, why y'all so cheeky? I was like, <laughs> bro, like, I, like, it is crazy because, like, white people or, like, Asians think, like, we trying to be funny. It's like, bro, we don't, that in our community, like, everybody can tell you that's not a racial slur. Like, obviously, everybody know nigga. If a white person say nigga, and well, if we say cracker, like, that all makes sense. Chink, no, we did not know that. No, nah, facts. And we can straight up say we didn't. So you changed the chink, but what initially, because you started rapping when you got out of jail? Yep. What initially, like, sparked that? That name? Wanting to rap. Oh, yeah, you was looking to do things. Yeah. Yeah, they was want to do <laughs> hair and shit. you like, nah, so you wanted to rap and shit. But I asked that because, like, you so nice at it. Like, you so good at it. Did right. you what? Did you used to do it back in the day? And then, no, like, my mom was a rapper. My dad plays 13 instruments. My mom okay. was rapping her entire life. My little brother is a rapper. Yeah. So he used to be like, that, that, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, I remember you saying that. And I'm like, oh, God, that shit hard. Like, <laughs> just re-saying it made me feel like I was I'm in outside. that, you know? So when I went to jail, though, um... And I came out, that chink name came on accident because when I went to jail and I came out, it, the first video went viral. I was only out for three days and I posted the rap, the first rap I wrote, and it went viral. Like, So everybody in the comments was like, chink, 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 chink. And I was like, fuck, now that I'm viral, yeah, yeah. I can't switch it now and you know, and lose all that. So I had to keep that motherfucking name. Like, no, that's facts. just what it was. That was on TikTok when you went viral? Or? No, that was Facebook. Like, TikTok was not even... Thought when was this, 20, 2017? 17, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 2017, 2018. Like, nah, TikTok wasn't on nothing at that time. Damn, do you, how you like, going viral on Facebook and compared to, because you be on Facebook a lot. Yeah. Going viral on Facebook and TikTok, how would you compare, or, or all the social medias, how would you compare? They not the same whatsoever. None of them, I feel like, when you go viral on Facebook, that shit actually big because it's hard as fuck to go viral on Facebook for one. Like so? TikTok, it like, yeah, you I heard, have yeah, 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 yeah. zero fucking followers and go Vi like yeah, yeah, TikTok wows me by that. Like I don't know, or you could have a million followers and have a low view. Yeah. Like, I don't know. TikTok's wild, but um, Facebook. I feel like you gotta really have something for Facebook to catch it and give you those views. Like that's just how I feel personally. Instagram, I feel like is the hardest. Like I'm not even Instagram sure. Instagram harder than everything. I the most views I got on Instagram is maybe like two hundred fifty thousand. Like I don't even think that's viral. What's viral now? I was about to ask. What's viral now? Dave? I don't. Know. I usually consider my viral videos like half a million and up. Like okay. Okay. Five hundred thousand is a. All right. I ain't mad at that. It's crazy because I was talking to um, don't call me white girl, and she was saying that uh, she went viral on Facebook first, and she was like, it ain't shit. She was like, Facebook, like it's a bunch of old people, like you ain't really. What? Yeah. So it's. That's but I thought wild. it was hard. That's what I'm saying. Like it's crazy. Nah, that shit hard. Like. That's ever, why. I, ever since I lost that page, like I I I can't go viral on Facebook again. Like. I end up losing that whole entire page, like that I was going viral. But how many on. views you get when you say you went viral? Like five hundred thousand. Like I think okay. one was like a, a three hundred thousand, but the other two was like five six hundred thousand, okay. like type shit. Yo, it's crazy because like, like I've done like millions of views, mm. like certain places, but like when I hear niggas talk about going viral nowadays, niggas be talking about like twenty million. I'm like, damn. Yeah, now twenty. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think that. my highest millions is I need uh, that. <laughs> about eight million. Like that's yeah, I ain't even hit that. That's great. Eight million, three million, six, Where? six TikTok? million. TikTok, yeah, like I got a lot of millions on TikToks. So like I, I can account for a good twenty five videos. Like with the M's, like you start selling shit on there or uh, nah, like people, people, um, like the brands. I said people be thinking I be selling shit because they all give me my discount codes, but. Um, nah. How do you how shit. do you like capitalize off of TikTok? Cause like like you said, it is kind of easy. Everybody going viral. How do you yeah, capitalize? Um, off of that shit? I feel like so I don't know like if it's just the shit I'm saying on there, but like I feel like I make I'm really just looking to make money on TikTok. Like Triller, I got a, like an actual brand deal with Triller, so you know like that's where my music is. You know that's the content I get them TikTok. I get in what they want. Like, they want me to talk about fat stuff. I don't even like talking about fat stuff. Mm. I don't even really care for fat people. I know that sounds weird as hell. <laughs> they be trying to play victim all the time. I don't you know said you weren't even supposed to be fat. Huh? You said you weren't even supposed to be fat. I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Like, <laughs> at, at, at some chicken, point, I, I wasn't. Like, hey, I don't know. You was but, fat. You ran track. You was like, yeah, like, <laughs> was I was not supposed to be fat. And, like, <laughs> being fat, I feel like I could say, like, fat people be dragging shit out. Like, bro, like, it's not as bad as it look. I feel like it's all communities though. Let's niggas going, oh my God, people want to hate me for this. I feel like all of us though. The <laughs> black community, like it's like no matter it's like the black community, the uh, LGBTQ community, the uh community. every every I can't say it, but you can say right, it. The 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 fat fat community. Community. Like every if one is a community of people, 
Boy, you say anything wrong about this. They just, everybody fall out. <laughs> it's going crazy. Like, if somebody called me fat behind my back, like, you think I'm going to be hot about it? Like, nigga, I woke up fat. I went to sleep fat. Like, I walked in here fat. Like, why would I, like, I just can't. Like, I but, cannot get bottled up to be like. It's crazy, though, because I've, I've heard a few people say that. Like, what? of plus size women, they like. Like, the woman that I talk to, the people uh-huh. I talk to, they all say the same thing. Like, you think I'm bothered about this? Like, nigga, I know how I look. Like, you can't Like, it shit. makes no sense. But no, there's like 80% of the fat community that's like, you're attacking me. You're fat shaming me. Like, bro, like, we woke up, went to sleep. Like, and it's not even like, I mean, for some people, it's a choice. But, I mean, for some people, they can't change it. But, like, being fat is really a choice. Like, nigga, we can mm-hmm. all get in the gym for real. Like, we can all go lose 150 pounds. We all go get a elastic sleeve and lose 100 pounds in the next year or get some surgery. Like, if we fat, it's probably because you want to be fat and you ain't doing nothing to change it. So if you that fucked up about somebody calling you fat, like, then just change it. Let it go. Mm-hmm. It's nothing to talk about. You ever thought about, like, trying to... Uh, nah, when I got out of prison, I had lost 80 pounds in prison, and it, it really wasn't intentional. I'm just picky. So, like, if you don't have what I want, then I'm cool. Mm. Like, so I'm not really fat in the mind. Like I said, I'm not supposed to be fat. <laughs> like, in the mind, like, a real fat motherfucker just going to eat what's ever available. Like, they just hungry. <laughs> I'm not eating that shit. Like, y'all high <laughs> the motherfucker if y'all thought I was eating that shit. So I lost 80 pounds, and I was only there for nine months. But It's crazy because they say, it's like, see, I ain't fat, but... I'ma just say it, fuck it. I eat my girl ass, so niggas say I can't niggas niggas think I can't be uh picky. Like niggas be eating ass but can't eat onions. Like bitch, no, yeah, I don't like, like that. Nah, it, I feel like if a nigga ain't eating ass, I don't see how he in a relationship. Like I for I ain't never dated nobody that didn't eat my ass, so niggas I think people be lying. Like niggas that, be, everybody's cat. Y'all eating be, the ass, let niggas it go. Be little ass much my boyfriend here. even like was on FaceTime with me, like, y'all be eating ass, y'all nasty, and I'm looking at him like you're eating ass tonight. You ate it yesterday. Like, why are you even playing with your homies like that? Like, now his homies are like, oh, God, I don't eat ass. I'm like, now everybody lying. Like, what the fuck is going now on? Now niggas don't want to share now the blood. Like, like, fuck out And then here. one nigga was like, I do. And the other dude was like, I ain't going to lie. Me too. So you was waiting on the nigga. Like, y'all kill me. Like, cut the shit. My boy been going to kill me. Like, babe, why you got to tell everybody I eat ass? Ah! I love you, dad. Hey, yo, so uh, what's going on with the music now, man? Like, what's yeah. up with you, man? Like, um, well, I just got out of my deal. So that was uh, for a year and a half, I think. And it was supposed to be like a guarantee, like if he couldn't give me a major in the uh, 18 months or 16 months, that he would have to just let me go, basically. Like, I wouldn't mm. have to owe anything back. So that's kind of where we left off. Like, there was no major, and I got to go scot-free. Like, it was a lot of benefits, actually, from that deal, though. Like, you know, within there... Mm -hmm. I was able to get a lot of shit accomplished. But so right now I just became independent again. I haven't even dropped since I became independent. So I'm about to start this little plan out, probably drop like three singles, do some videos, podcasts, um, interviews, about to just kind of like run it by myself how I was originally. You think niggas put you in that box of like freestyle rappers, like you only do freestyle? It's crazy because I don't want to be that rapper because I'm not a freestyle rapper like in a perfect world, I wouldn't even be a rapper right now. Like, mm. I never said I wanted to be a rapper. Like I said, somebody said it to me, and then I thought it wasn't such a bad idea. But, you know, this is not my dream, my passion. My Once I get to where I'm going, I can't help that I'm great at it. Like, I wouldn't even say I'm good at it. I think I'm great. Like, even that introduction, like, I would say I'm up there with the elites. Like, cadence, nah, flow, you, delivery. You, like, you, I, you I like really that. got it. Like, yeah. it's crazy. So, because I know I'm good at it or great at it, um... You know, I'm using it to my advantage and get to where I'm trying to go. But, like, ultimately, you know, I want to do something around music, maybe even, like, own my own label, you know, and have artists, you know, under me. But, like, as far as just being a rapper, like you said, because they trying to make me freestyle and shit just because I know how mm. they want me to do it. I don't want to do it. But this shit hard, though. Yeah. And next time you come, you got to give me something, bro. Yeah, no, I'm going to give you something hot. I'm going to spend a, a, a quick, like, 24 or something. You know, I got you for sure. All right, bet. You definitely got to spend a block. I ain't want to be rude to my other guests, man. Next time. Oh, yeah, no, for pull sure. Up, um, oh, yeah, they so here. Okay. Next time, pull up so so we can have a yeah. longer discussion, nah, man. But this sure. shit was good, yeah. though. I fuck with you. Yeah, Yo, I fuck with you as an individual, like nah, straight up energy, that. everything. Like, no, nah, I appreciate solid that. This shit was sure. hard. We got we to gotta do this again. Yeah, I'm with it. And I'm going to bring a freestyle next time so they can. Yeah, yeah. what you got? Um, You said you said you ain't dropping nothing yet. You you, you, make, you in Planet State, so you only had nothing to promote for real. Nothing. Just Damn. follow me everywhere, Ching Diamond everywhere, TikTok, Instagram. Tell me how I spell it so they know. Triller, Ching, C-H-Y-N-G. And for some reason, y'all keep calling me China Diamond. It's Ching, like C-H-Y-N-G. Like, China? What I don't fuck? know if they're just looking at it fast. They, maybe they see the Q as an A, maybe. 
No, G is it may say to see the G as an A. Oh, that's good. Because the G could happening. look like an A, maybe. No, nah, that's definitely what's happening. If that's yes, that's what's happening. It's Ching. Get it right. Don't get it China wrong. China Diamond. That don't even makes. I wouldn't even like that. Like, I wouldn't even want to be called that. But <laughs> yeah, Ching Diamond everywhere. Okay. Um. What? What? Like. What can we expect? I guess from. Do you you got anything in mind? I got uh I got like three songs already lined up to come, like three videos, three songs, another interview, like even before the year over two songs for sure. Mm. I probably won't be able to get to drop all three, but like as long as y'all tapped in, like you gonna catch. Nah, yo, everything. she's hard. Like, like I wish we had more time. I wish I could even like do a whole show you the the music and shit like shit hard like she hard for real like I ain't even making like I don't even be doing this shit on my interviews but nah she hard for real Please definitely check out uh Ching Diamond uh any projects or singles that they can go look up now y'all can go look up lose the ugly um use the sound for use lose the ugly lose the ugly is a viral sound on TikTok go ahead and use that Free Ted Flock, that's my brother. He in the gym right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. gotta free my brother. Also, check out I me. Mean, I don't care. We could do this. Check out the, the part two. I fuck with part two and part one on um amp. Uh, I'm school. Rambo. Oh yeah, yeah for we, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck y'all. Shout them out. Yeah. School. yeah. <laughs> right for sure. That yeah. Shit hard though. Rambo on amp. Part one, part two for sure. YouTube, TikTok, it don't matter. It's everywhere. Yeah. Instagram. I fuck with it, man. Good, good, good people. Good vibes. J Hill, sure. J Hill podcast. It's a wrap, man. We out for sure.